What's up, YouTube? It's Hector from Not to Nerdy, and today I have a quick tip for you. Uh, we're going to use Audacity to clean up the audio to make it sound really clean. So it doesn't matter if you have a really bad microphone or if you have a really good microphone. If there's any background noise or white noise that you want to get rid of, I'm going to teach you exactly how to get rid of it today. So stay tuned. As you can see, I clicked this program right here called Audacity. Now, if you guys don't know what that is, this is a free software. I will uh, put the links down in the description below that you could download and you could actually uh, do different things to audio. Um, now there's two things that you can do. You can record directly off Audacity by clicking record. First you select the microphone that you want. You could also adjust right here the level of the, the microphone. Now my microphone is really, really loud so that's why I put all the way to like zero and it still records pretty well. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's what I suggest you should do, record directly off Audacity. But if you don't want to, you can record off any software you want. Once you have the actual file that you want to fix, you could uh, drag in and paste in Audacity, or you could go to File and Open, and you could just you know put it in Audacity. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's all you need to know about Audacity program itself. Now, um, this is a file right here that I actually you know I did in the beginning the intro so this is the intro this is what I was saying in the beginning I actually screwed up a couple times here but it's okay it's perfect because I get to show you how to fix that up now the rule anytime you record something the first five to ten seconds should be you saying nothing you need to record so that the mic can pick up the sound that you want to get rid of so as you see all this stuff I do not want okay now this right here is just me clapping so that doesn't count this is the sound I need to get rid of. That's the sound I need to clean. Now it's not that bad of my microphone because my microphone isn't too bad, but this little dots and stuff like that, that probably represents the fan noise for my computer that could represent, you know, white noise in the background, little things like that. So it doesn't matter if you have a really cheap microphone or a really good microphone, you can clean it up and make it sound a lot better. So first thing you need to do is highlight an area that you want to get rid of. So I'll highlight this area right here. Okay. Then the next thing you do is go to effects, noise removal, and the first step, step one, click get noise. Okay. After that, you highlight the whole area, the whole file. Now you could just do that, or you could, the easy way is to control A, and it highlights the whole area for you. Then you go right back to effect, go to noise removal, and this is the settings that you need for step two. For noise reduction, set it to 48. Sensitivity, set it to 0.00. .00. Frequency smoothing set it to 90, attack slash decay time set it to 0.15, and under noise make sure the button for a remove is clicked. Once you do that, you click OK. Now it's going to uh, render everything. Now depending on you know how big the file is, that's how long it's going to take, and also your CPU. But mostly it's a file size. It doesn't take too long for this part. But as you can see, the white noise is gone. Okay, this is me clapping and stuff like that, so that's fine. Okay, so that noise is gone. Look how clear that is. Before, and this is the after part. Now, if we look elsewhere, it's pretty good. Not bad at all. Now, I can highlight this if I want to. And if I want to get rid of that noise, because I don't know what that noise is. It could be anything. It could be a little, little noise in the background. I do the same thing. Get Noise Profile. Control A. So highlight the whole thing. Go to Effect. Noise Removal. Notice how it saves everything from now on so you never have to type in that number again unless you erase the program by accident or you reset it so it should save automatically just press OK it's gonna do the same thing and as you can see it cleaned it up pretty nice okay now this right here I could select oh oops <laughs> not mean to do that oh well I just moved up the file. Hopefully, I didn't screw up the whole thing. Oh well. I hate when that happens, man. Why move up the file higher than I'm supposed to? Anyway, that's the way it should look. All right. Ah, I did it again. <laughs> All right. Technical difficulties. There you go. Now <laughs> let's try it again. Anyway, let's do effect, noise removal, get noise, effect, noise removal. Boom. So if you look at this file from before after, now I could clean up everything else, but obviously I'm going to cut that part off. I'm not talking in it. But as you can see, that is completely different 
Look at the beginning. It's completely different from what it was before. It got rid of all the noise. Then when you listen to it, you're actually going to hear the clean version, obviously, when I'm talking in the beginning. So that's how you do this. It's very simple. It's something that you could do real quickly. And like I said, you don't have to record directly off Audacity. You can record from another program if you like. Um, but just you have to bring it into Audacity to clean it up, obviously. Um, so that's pretty much it. All you have to do when you are done, uh, I always suggest saving a project. I'm not going to do that right now because I already you know, did other stuff with it. So I'm going to go to export. And when you're here, you could pick the name. I'm going to pick test audio like seven or whatever, I think. Yeah, I'm like on seven or something like that. Uh, you could pick any wave that you want. So you could go ahead and pick the wave file or MP3 or any other file you want. Sorry, not wave that you want. Um, now, the last thing I just want to give you guys a tip. Say if you're recording with a webcam. And the webcam has a certain speed for its microphone. And that's the only microphone you have and you're cleaning it up. When you go back and you put your audio to match up with your video, you're going to see that the video might be moving at a different speed than the audio. So what you need to do is you need to go to the settings of the original audio file in, in the properties. When you right click the file, go to properties and see the speed of the audio. This way you know how fast the audio should be. Once you know the audio, go to options here and you can actually change the speed. So for me, mine is my uh, webcam is close to 96. It's actually 100, but this is the closest one they have. And it's, it's not that far off whatsoever. So I select 96. So that's something that's important. You don't always have to do that. But, you know, if you ever see that your video is not matching up with your audio and you did use Audacity, go back and change the speed. Make sure the speed matches up with the original audio file. So that's just a little tip for you guys in case you didn't know that this is the way you do it. You make sure the audio matches the original audio. Press OK. Once you save this, you go into this. You don't need to fill out anything here. Just click OK. And that's it. It's going to export the file. OK, now this, you know, depending on how fast your computer is, depends on how big the file is, that's how long it's going to take to actually export. So once you're done, it's right here. I saved it on my desktop. I need to clean this desktop up. <laughs> but anyway, so that is pretty much it. That's how you use Audacity to clean up, uh, you know, background noise, stuff like that. Now, you can also fool around with Audacity. There's different effects that you can do, which is pretty cool with the sound files. But for right now, I just want to show you guys exactly how to remove the noise, the white noise in the background, which is very important because I see some videos on YouTube and sometimes, you know, a, just a little... You know, a couple minutes of your time, you can actually clean up the sound a lot more. So that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick tip. Um, definitely uh, leave a like if you liked the video. If you did not like the video, just let me know what I could have done differently. And also, you know, comment what you guys do to fix up your, your uh, mic. What mic are you using? You know, will this actually help you if you're using a cheaper microphone? Or even if you're using an expensive microphone, will this help you? So that's pretty much it. This is Hector from Not Too Nerdy. I'm out. See you, YouTube.